So as you can see, this is the LED V one S, and this is the Redmi Note 3. Redmi Note 3 is running on MIUI version 7. That's quite obvious. And LED V one S is running on MIUI 7 also, and this is quite new. So hey guys, Sanjay here, and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to install MIUI version 7 on the LED one S, which is quite stable in my opinion. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> First thing that we are going to do is go into settings and go into about phone then uh, as you can see MIUI 7 global 6.2.2 and it is based on Android 5.0.2 so I guess this is the port from Redmi Note 2 maybe or Redmi Note 3 because it has the same specifications as those devices have so yes it is running on MIUI 7 and I'm using this ROM for a day now and the ROM is pretty stable all the things are working so if we go into dialer contacts chrome it will open up fast also messaging application and then if we go into gallery application that's also working fine then music application and this is the same music player that we have on our normal MIUI 7 so let me just increase the brightness so you can see that it is the same music player that we have on normal MIUI 7 which is a very good thing in my opinion then we have play store inbuilt which is uh, like inbuilt and you do not have to flash gaps uh, to install play store or anything like that the ROM is pre-rooted also, so King Root is installed, but you can surely replace King Root with Super SU also if you need to. Then you can use no frill CPU control. I have not tried this, uh, I just installed this application so that uh, I can come to know whether performance mode works fine or not. And uh, in my opinion, performance mode works. Uh, so in my opinion, very stable ROM. Uh, uh, I can say that it is a little better than EUI which is present on the device right now. So let's open up the messaging application and as you can see multitasking is also smooth no issues whatsoever so yes it is working smoothly and one of the most interesting thing that you get with the MIUI 7 on the l one s or any MIUI 7 device is that you get the option of themes so you can download any number of themes you want there are tons and tons of themes I have downloaded few of them so let's switch to MI5 gold uh, the latest MI5 which is launched so I can apply that theme so as you can see the MI5 theme has been applied now and it took a little bit of time in my opinion because uh, this is not the Xiaomi device so themes application will take a long time so just uh, sit back and relax till the time the theme gets applied then all the MIUI 7 features are also working so let me just go into settings and uh, show you some of the features so as you can see on the top network speed is shown and that is because I have selected this option that is uh, show connection speed and if you select that network speed will be shown over here then let's go into additional settings if we go into battery then you can select power settings as performance so if you think that the device is lagging or the gaming performance is not good then you can enable the performance mode and the device's performance should be better i tried the performance mode uh, it was good but it was not as good as uh, it is on redmi note 3 the processor doesn't get clocked to 2.2 gigahertz continuously uh, that's the issue in my opinion and performance mode is one of the things which is not present on eui as of now and one handed operation mode is also present so if you just do like this enter so basically what you have to do is get to the home button which is present over here then home to back button then it will go over here like this and if you think that the display colors are not great or if you want to change them then simply go into display then color and contrast then you can change it to cool or warm uh, whatever your preference is just do that so these were the good points about the ROM but there are a few bad points also like the fingerprint sensor does not work as of now but I'm pretty much sure that fingerprint sensor will be fixed in the future updates and if you are watching this video after one month or two months then uh, just head over to the description box below I'll let you know over there if the fingerprint sensor is working or not but as of now fingerprint sensor is not working and even the IR blaster sensor which is present over here is not working and one more problem that I have with this ROM is that the, raw, the device gets really warm so yeah, as you can see I was using the device normally for around 10 minutes and the temperature has reached to 40 degrees or around that. On uh, EUI or in the front as you can see 42 degrees. So the device surely gets warm but the performance is amazing so I, I may not complain about that but yes the device does get warm I need to tell you guys that. So yeah this was all about the ROM and now let's see how to install this ROM and for that you will need to boot into the TWRP recovery and if you are on EUI right now then simply go into the updater app click on the three dots over here uh, same is with the EUI 
then select reboot to recovery hit okay and the device will boot into the twrp recovery now and if you guys do not have twrp recovery installed on your device then i have made a separate guide on that like how to install twrp recovery and how to root your device you can simply follow that guide and you can install twrp recovery on the l1s so as you can see we have successfully booted into the rom now uh, so first thing that you should do is back up the current rom so that if anything goes wrong afterwards you can simply restore this backup and come back to the stock rom or whichever rom you had installed so just swipe to backup and do backup the rom and after the backup is done go to wipe and just swipe to factory reset then go back once again go back select install scroll down and select the MIUI 7 zip file and just swipe to install and now this MIUI 7 zip file will be installed on the device and I'll give the link of this MIUI 7 zip file in the description box below so do not worry you need to download that zip file from the description box below so finally after 5 minutes the ROM installation is successful and after that simply go back and now select the camera fix MIUI.zip so simply swipe to install and after the zip file is installed it will restart the device automatically so finally the rom has booted up and the brightness is very low which i cannot increase so you just need to set up the rom right now and you are done and you so i'll just set up the rom so as you can see the rom is installed and we are in the rom now and i did not show you guys the camera application so let's open up the camera application And camera speed is slow in my opinion because it takes a long amount of time to take a picture but pictures taken are really good as you can see i'll take one more picture let's take a picture of this one uh, so the picture the close-up picture is also very good no issues over here also so the photos taken are fine with the camera but uh, it takes a little bit of time to take pictures so yeah this is pretty much it for this video guys thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video and if you liked miui 7 on the l1s then uh, do hit that like button let's see if we can reach triple two likes on this video and if you guys have l1s and have not subscribed to the channel already then do hit that subscribe button because many more videos like this about l1s are going to come soon on the channel so yeah Bye guys, thank you, thank you for watching.